Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you around arguably one of the greatest uh, hot hatches of the 1980s and that is the iconic 205 GTI. Now the car that we've got available here for you today is the 1988 130 brake horsepower 1.9 Peugeot 205 GTI. This could be arguably is spoken about as one of the greatest iconic cars of its time. In 1988, we're looking back there when uh, pre-power steering, so this is a phase one car, got some nice factory options as you can see there with the uh, number plate uh, plinth between the lamps, Peugeot 205 GTI. This is a sunroof model and uh, lots of people like them without the sunroofs but back in the day I remember this car or these cars in particular 1988 I was a 16-year-old lad and you either you were either buying a, a Nova GTE, you were buying a Peugeot 205 GTI or an XR2. You couldn't afford an RS anything because of the insurance. But the 205, let's think about this. This car weighs a mere 900 kilograms. So if you were to buy a similar sort of GTI today, whether it be golf. They're now just below two tons, so a Ford Focus ST, 1980 kilograms. So this is a thousand kg uh, less than a modern day car without half of the modern day safety features. So no door bars, no airbags, no power steering. Everything was focused on speed. Everything was focused on the drivability of the car, the enjoyment of the car. 127 miles an hour top speed and 0 to 60 in 7.8 seconds. Now the car you're looking at here now, I've known for probably five or six years. It's been through a couple of friends' hands and it's only been used on uh, weekends, sunny days, holidays, going to the, the owner's club, going to cars and coffee. The car drives today as I do remember them back in the 80s and early 90s when I myself did have one. The car, obviously a 1.9, the difference between a 1.9 and a 1.6 is when you see the car, you get larger wheels, and then on a 1.9, you've got the half leather interior. This one's got the red carpets, which was always my favorite in the day. It really did, if you remember, looking back, if you go on YouTube, uh, you'll see the adverts where you've got Peugeots coming out of flames. Uh, it was an in-house design car by Peugeot themselves but then went onto the rally scene. So Dimmer, if you remember those guys, they put a wide arch, you've got engines in the rear, and they were, they were the car to have, 900 kg. Now this car's only done 52,734 miles. It's in what I would class as uh, survivor condition. It's in super order throughout. Uh, we've had it detailed. As I say, we, we do know the car. We've supplied it to the last keepers and then it's come back to us each time we've had the opportunity to buy it back because you can't find these cars. You can't, not in this condition anyway. You want one which you want to start restoring and taking years and years and years to actually work on, then you know, no, that's not for me. This is turn the key, start it, buy yourself a trickle charger, put it in your garage and just watch the value of it go up. It's worth the same money today as it was probably five years ago, if not more. But everything about it is in lovely, lovely order. Carpets, we've got the GTI mats, the front, the driver's is, is being washed. But as I say, when you look in the rear of the car, we've got the over mats as well, the grey two-tone interior part leather. Yes, there is a touch of cracking. Yes, there is a touch of wear, but she's 32 years old. I remember sitting in these when they were brand new at uh, Rhodes Persia in Wigan. Black on the red with the red interior. Under the bonnets in lovely order. Detailed. So again, no plastic covers on these, shall we say, future classics. We can see everything. These being a 1.9, you've got four spark plugs, you've got an air filter, you've got engine oil. That's as much as you need to know. You don't need computers to tell you what the engine management light is. A traditional mechanic can work on these cars with ease. 
everything's available still today as it was 32 years ago but you can jump in them this will drive in modern traffic you can sit on a motorway at 85 miles an hour if you wish to do so yet you can use her every day she potters around the steering on us precise it's pin sharp it's energetic yes because it's not power we get used to power don't we but cars didn't have power steering 30 years ago it was frowned upon because you didn't get the feel so the phase one is probably the one if you were gonna buy one to have one is the one that you generally go for the wheels are all in great condition again we've detailed it so we've had them off we've done the calipers we've done the discs we've tyres are all great on it the bodywork in itself is in great condition am I going to say it's concourse no I'm not because it's 32 years old but it is genuine it's a lovely car have a look on the MOT history you'll see that the car has been looked after over the number of years nice options a lovely car throughout pop the bonnet down the lines on the bonnet, the lines on the wings, they all are nice shuts. It's just a lovely, lovely example which I would be completely and totally satisfied as I have been as when I've gone to car shows where this car's been at. People look round it and they're impressed by the quality and the condition of the 33-year-old 52,000 mile 205 GTI. Now this car's currently looking for a new home. So if you are fancying something that, well, it's a number in your bank at the moment. You're a man of my age, late 40s, early 50s. You've got a, a home, a garage, where you can enjoy this car to its full potential. You can go out on a weekend, put your wife in, reminisce of when you used to drive down that country lane, pull in at that lay-by, have a beer on the way home. This is probably the car which was ideal for you turnkey starter it's going to go in our showroom so irrespective of how the weather is you can come and view it in complete and total satisfaction Don behind the camera or Lee will show you the vehicle we've got quite an array of spare parts for the vehicle servicing parts we've got bits of that history it was in long-term storage when it came to us probably five or six years ago but can I say thanks for watching the video Subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this. We've got some nice Ferraris in, we've got some nice Porsches in at the moment, and some really good eclectic mix of from run of the mill cars to really, really top end motor cars. But at Alpha Motors here, we, we, we try to be as honest and as transparent as we can. This is a great car. So thanks for watching the video, and I look forward to your inquiry.